Hello everyone, my name is Munmun Yadav, working in ENH iSecure Private Limited. In this presentation, let's discuss about Cellpoint IIQ test case automation and framework followed by a demo. So, the agenda is introduction to automation testing framework, type of way to run test cases, followed with demo. So, let's start with the demo. So, as a part of this session, I am going to explain a test automation framework which is built using TestNG, POM, and Page Factory Design Pattern. So, you can see the project. This project is nothing but a framework. Let me extract all. When we create a new Maven project, by default, we will get SRC main Java, SRC test Java, JRE system library, Maven dependency, SRC target, POM.xml file. Here, the first question which comes in our mind is where we write our code. We write our automation script under SRC test Java. Under SRC test Java, I have created a cellpoint IIQ automation folder. You can name anything as per your choice. I divided automation script based on the functionality. As you can see, example, login test.java, aggregation test.java. For this demo, I have taken only these two functionalities. Here, I have created a package known as com.qr.config. From here, I read data from Notepad. Here, I am keeping most common use data like browser name, URL, valid username, valid password, and many more. I have done this just to remove repetitive hard coded of data. Here, you can see com.iiq.qa.base. Under this, I have created a base class. In this base class, I have applied inheritance concept. I have created a properties file to read data from Notepad, but we can use Excel or any other file. I have created mylistener.java to check test cases status when test cases are running in Jenkins or while running in other way. Here in the last, you can see testng.xml file. If we want to run test cases in batch, we will use testng.xml file. It provides different annotation which is very helpful for automation. We can run our test cases in multiple ways. I will be running using three ways. First, let's run as a test ng. For running as a test ng, right click on project, then click on run as test ng. Run as test ng. It will run all the test cases in batch. Here we will get some commands in red, but we don't need to bother about this. Our test case will run. Here the browser will open, it will automatically maximize. It will log in as a valid username and password. And it will click on OK button. Our first test case is passed. It's in second test case. And for validating part, I have used SSN. Now it will log in and run the aggregation. And it will also take the screenshot. See, it will search. It will go to last and click on save and execute. It will click on OK. Now it will check the status. It will search and take the screenshot and paste it in a screenshot folder. See, we have run four test cases. Failed is zero, script is zero. 
and here we can see like four, four is passed so after running as a test ng you can see like there is no output folder and there is nothing in an screenshot folder so after that we need to if refresh it so let's refresh it so after refreshing we will get one extra folder known as output folder and then an screenshot so let's check see you can get an you get an aggregation status screenshot and here output folder in output folder we will get different types of reports like emailable report failed report past report skipped etc here we will run our test case using command prompt so to run in a command prompt we need to follow simple step double click on the project go to properties you will, you will see the location of the project go to the location of the project this is our project double click here we will be seeing form.xml file and testmv.xml file type cmd <coughs> here just type mbn test it will run all the test cases It will take little time, but it will run all the test cases. See, execution of the project started. See, let's open the web browser. It will run one. One by one, all the test cases. See, all the test cases are passed. Total time it's taken 2.41 seconds. Yeah, it's taking little time because I have given timing like thread dot slip to show every steps. Now let's run our same test case using Jenkins. So I have already configured all the paths. Let's go to Google Chrome. 
type localhost 8081 it's my port number i have given so this project is already configured uh, so i have given default time so it has already run 20 times so let's run this same test case we'll click here and click on build now we can run from here also but now let's run it from here here we will be showing one console output see if we click here it will show like console output see here we will say when test case start executing and when it is successfully executed now test case will start executing you will get one message with time execution of the project is started you can see in the last see in the first test case login with valid username and password start executing now it started executing it will throw successful message when it will be successfully executed all these are running in headless mode aggregation started executing After executing, it will throw a message that it is successfully executed. See, start aggregation got successfully executed. Now it will take it a screenshot and check the result. In last, we will get number of test case run and passed, failed, skipped, error, everything. See, test run 4, failed 0, error 0, script 0, total time taken after running all the test cases and refreshing, let's see whether the screenshot and output is there or not. For a screenshot, let's go to the screenshot folder and check whether the screenshot is there or not. So this is the screenshot which is present in PNG format. Let's double click it. See, it is success. Let's check the output folder. In output folder, we will get different types of report. Let's check email level report. Here we have run two test cases. Please follow our socials for more technical updates. Thank you.